people. Thank you very much for that. Uh, what are some of the consequences, the social, economic, and political consequences of this quote unquote uh, contemporary global militarism? Uh, if we are to look at it, uh, particularly in the sub Saharan uh, part of the continent, um, many African leaders seem to be obsessed with military spending. Um, almost all political debates, uh, when it comes to uh, the presidency or even other discussions made in parliament and other platforms, are uh, simply primarily rooted and based on the discussion of military spending, excessive military spending by governments and by states. Is it justified? Is it necessary to focus on military spending at a time that we have a severe economic crisis and we have other needs that need to be funded? What, what's, what's your take and thought on, on that? Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a very good question and, and it's a very important question, right? How, how, how do we justify how much is spent on, on, on security forces? Uh, and it, it's quite striking to see that in many parts of the world, uh, and there's some very good data on this coming out of Sweden from a, an organization called CIPRI that, that measures uh, military spending in each country year by year. And we can see that military spending in many African countries have gone up in recent years. Um, and, and, you know, that's, that's, I think, in many ways, part of, of what we are discussing here, that, that once, the, once the world has become, in a way, uh, so preoccupied with security, that every problem uh, such as violent extremism, which, which is in, in large part, of course, a security problem. But there are other aspects to those security problems that can be found in, in, in uh, root causes of, of ex political exclusion, economic exclusion, and so forth. And, and one of the dangers of, of a focus on security and, and, and military solutions to all kinds of problems is that resources automatically go towards security solutions rather than towards military solutions, sorry, rather than towards political solutions. And I think that's, that's, that's one of the dangers of, of this new militarism. I think, you know, that... The, to, my, to my mind, <laughs> there are very many dangers uh, and many, you, know, you mentioned social, political, economic uh, implications and consequences. And, and I think there are a lot of them. It's very hard to sort of draw a direct causal link from A to B, but we can at the same time see trends and connections. And I think one danger for me is because the military and security actors are now seen as so central to uh, security and stability by focus, by virtue of their role in fighting extremism, they become kind of uh, middle uh, middlemen or brokers in between civilian politicians and the international community and that gives them power right vis-a-vis -vis civilians vis-a-vis -vis civil society vis-a-vis -vis politicians and that's that's sort of tipping of the balance in favor of, of military actors so that they occupy more and more roles and position in, in areas of life that we previously regarded as civilian areas of life.